Welcome back to my channel guys, my name is Sherry. Thank you for coming to another Fashion Friday or if you're new, uh, welcome. I post fashion videos every single Friday. So for the first look, you're just going to do a classic hip wrap. So just tie it in a knot. You can double up and just tuck it in. And you have look number one. Pretty, pretty classic, pretty common. Thought I would keep it simple to start out. Okay, next up we have a wrap dress. So you're just going to crisscross it in the front and tie it in a knot in the back. And you have this open back, cute dress. It is completely um, concealed so it covers everything up. You can totally go out to eat with this uh, or just look super fancy on the boardwalk and make everyone jealous. But yeah, I love this one a lot. It's probably my favorite look. Moving right along into the next look, you're going to take the long ends on each side. So this is the ends where the tassels are for mine, and I'm just going to tie those together leaving a hole in the middle. And then you're going to go on the other side and do the exact same thing. Find those ends, tie a knot, make sure it's secure so it doesn't come undone while you're like walking around. And then what you're going to do is stick your arms through the loops or the holes and you have yourself a kimono. Really cute. It covers the back of you. It looks really pretty. It's really flowy. And you can actually pair this with another outfit if you wanted to. All right, now put the sarong behind you so you can see what you're doing. And you're just going to tie a simple knot. So I'm tying it once and then I'm going to make a knot in the front. And as you can see, we made another little strapless dress. How adorable is this? It looks so, so cute. It's a little bit shorter in style and just has a lot of movement in the front. Um, and yeah, you can kind of cover it up where you need to if you wanna take it to a more public place. But yeah, really form-fitting, really, really pretty looking. And moving right along into the next one. This is a simple one. You're just going to tie it in the front and just kind of have it draping over you. So it kind of looks like a shawl. But yeah, just another idea for a cover-up if you need it, if you're cold on the boardwalk or in a restaurant and you're just a little chilly. And I just undid it and you can make it into a loose shawl, so really simple. And now for this seventh look, you can see I'm making a short little skirt, a little bit of a sexier look. But yeah, it looks really nice with the tie just kind of dangling on the side and the tassels hanging down. Super, super cute, really flirty, really sexy. And yeah, just another great way to utilize a pretty sarong. Okay, next up we are tying a knot again, 
but this time you're gonna turn it around and you're gonna have a nice pretty plain strapless midi dress so it comes down a little bit longer you have that detail in the back Obviously, if you're going out to a restaurant, make sure everything in the back is covered up. As you can see, my cheek kind of popped out. Um, but yeah, really, really formal and sleek looking in the front. So it just gives it a whole new look. Okay, so I just folded this in half a couple of times. And now I'm tying a knot like we have been. Um, the knot is going to be a lot smaller looking. As you can see, you have a cute little tube top going on with the fringe hanging down. Really, really pretty. You can definitely just pair this with a pair of high-waisted shorts. And then you can just turn it around and make it a different looking top. Really, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, so many different uses for it. Uh, yeah, I can't think of the word. Ugh, versatile. Very, very versatile. Okay, and as you can see, I just tied a knot at one end, and we're not gonna wear it like a sexy little open apron. That's not the type of video we're going for today. Um, so you're just going to fold this up and take it around the waist, so it kind of looks like a two-piece outfit. And then you're just going to tie it in the back and pull it to the side, as you can see from the video. And you have this sexy little, like, cut out, cropped looking outfit, um, but yeah, it just gives it a whole different look. Make sure it's secure, but yeah, it looks like you're wearing a really cute outfit and it's just one sarong, so definitely a different way you can wear it. Alrighty, we're getting towards the end here. So you're just going to make a knot on the side. I'm going to feed my arm through so it's peeking out. And you have a like toga looking wrap thing going on with one side exposed. It makes it really sexy, really pretty. Just a lot of movement going on. It looks really, really nice uh, flowing in the wind. But if you're feeling like you don't want it to be that scandalous, you can just tie the bottom like I'm doing so, and you just have like a little peephole showing. So still very sexy, but a lot more controlled. And yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!